In this video, I'm going to show you how to make really delicious espresso flavored ice cream at Home. All you need is a blender, ice cream freezer, and an espresso machine. Start off with three eggs, and we're using the entire egg, not just the yolk. Using the white is gonna give us a superior ice cream body because those whites are gonna whip up and give us a lot more thickness rather than just yolky richness. Next, we're gonna use 100 grams of sugar. I've got the blender right directly on my scale, which definitely saves some steps here. We're gonna have 250 grams of heavy cream and 250 grams of milk. Finally, we've got 200 grams of espresso that we've made beforehand. I'm not adding any other flavors except espresso. There's no vanilla, chocolate, no adulterants in this. Now, if it doesn't taste good, it's because your coffee doesn't taste good. The goal of this recipe is to highlight the coffee, and you can use even very light, quite acidic floral roast for this kind of ice cream because full flavor and acidity of that coffee is really gonna work well. Now we're going to blend this. You'll want to get a thermometer with a clip on it, and we're gonna heat this in two stages. The first stage is going to be 70 Celsius, and I've set this to beep at that point. We're gonna use an espresso machine steam wand to heat the ice cream base. And the reason we do that, because there's eggs in here, having the steam heat the egg while moving it is going to whip it and get a really evenly cooked custard. It's something that's quite hard to do with traditional cooking where you have a lot of heat on the bottom and you tend to burn if you cook it too quickly or it takes too long and you just sit there and whip it. This is just so much faster. Now we're gonna let the mixture sit for about 30 seconds just to set a bit and then we're gonna heat it to its final temperature of 82 Celsius. A few moments later. All right, we're ready to go to 82 Celsius. I'm going to set this thermometer. Let this cool down to room temperature and then put it in your refrigerator and then the next day is when you're going to make ice cream. I have yesterday made a batch of this and right before you put it in the ice cream machine, you should give it one more blend so it's nice and aerated. You'll see as I pour this out, it's really quite thick. I'm gonna turn the ice cream maker on for my mixing. And you'll see it's pretty thick already. In another video, I made an ice cream base. I then refrigerated and I added flavors later. And that totally works as a generic ice cream base. But if you know what you're gonna make, it's better to add the wet ingredients when you make your ice cream custard. And the reason is that the eggs will then bond to that water. If you make your ice cream base and then add the wet ingredients, you're gonna have a, a wetter, less thick ice cream base. We're gonna let this run for about 20 minutes. And then once it sets, we'll give it a taste and the ice cream will be ready. 20 minutes later. When the ice cream stops moving, I usually just shove it in to make sure that it's all homogenized and there are no wet spots among it. You can see it's quite stiff. And the nice thing about eating it as it's just churned is that the temperature is just right. See how when I'm touching it with the ice cream, it, it kind of glistens. So that's one of the hallmarks of gelato is it's always served just so it's barely frozen. And that way, just as you serve it, quite soft and it starts to melt. Give that a taste. That is a nice, rich coffee flavor. It is not like drinking espresso. This is an espresso ice cream that someone who enjoys drinking coffee would drink. It is not a coffee ice cream that I would say is just for the espresso lover. I've also made this recipe so it's not that sweet, more like a nice comfortable latte. So if you want this to be more bam in your face, you should put more coffee in it. If you want it sweeter, adjust that. But this basic recipe works really well to make quite nice coffee gelato. Give it a try, let me know how it goes for you. Thanks.